we are here at TLC, which is being known and labeled as the last match that Eddie Fable wants with Rusev. Now, this may not the be how it goes, but this is what is being said. It is going to be an all-out street fight TLC rules. Anything goes. Uh, they're dressed for the part, it looks like. At least Eddie is. Usually in these kind of fights, people do show up with different kinds of uh, ring gear on. It's mainly to keep yourself protected and, I guess, paint a little homage to Austin 316. Open up a cannibal bass, maybe that's what we're going with. Rusev's coming out, I would assume. He himself and Eddie is hyped. Rusev is swinging away uh, his Bulgarian flag. Oh my gosh, Eddie's already left the ring. Rusev's looking at him like, are you, are you, are you really doing this? I, I guess they're, wow. Disrespectful on Eddie's part, but maybe he deserved it. Wow. Eddie did, did not want to wait. But like I said, they're in um, different outfits probably than people would think. So usually when you get into the extreme roles, you've seen things with McFoley with thumbtacks, with all these different things that can hurt you. Um, you want to have a lot of your body covered up. Granted, yes, it doesn't matter for the most part. You know, some people, fans, or whoever it may be, want to see that blood. They want to see the blood shed. But that being said, these guys want to finish the match regardless of how much pain they get put through. So you do take a little bit of precautions beforehand. And I, I have no doubt that these guys are going to go all out. And, um, like I said, we've heard Eddie say it before. He wants to finish Russo for what he did. Took him out. Um, we, we've been told that that injury was a legit injury. Eddie did take him off for a reason. Um, granted, you know, did he milk it? Maybe he did. But either way, it was actual a real injury. And Eddie did get a concussion from uh, Russo hitting him with a bat. Uh, and that rivalry just plainly started with Russo just not liking Eddie. They had a couple of matches. I believe they were in a uh, battle royal or six way match, something where there was a multiple people, but Rusev picked uh, Eddie out there. And we all know Eddie is focused on John Cena. John Cena is his focus, but every bit of the way he's had bumps, and Rusev has, so far has been the biggest speed bump on his way there. I mean, he's, he's got the United States Championship in his sights, Rusev had it in his sights, but now these two are just straight out for each other. We haven't even made it to the ring yet. Can I make that known right now? We haven't made that, or can I make that point? We haven't made it to the ring. These two are still in the walkway. I mean, we are, we are far into the match. Eddie's taking a beat in the right now. And we're not even in the ring. Now, this is not a false count anywhere match. I mean, anything does go, but there's no DQs or anything like that. But the, the opponents, or your opponent, has to be pinned in the ring. And I think Eddie just realized that himself. Stomping him in his gut. That's all we see. No, not too many uh, super complex technical moves. We've just been seeing punch and kicks and just brawling. Eddie's going underneath the apron. It looks like he's going for a weapon, I'm assuming. He's getting a ladder. We have no bell hanging from here, but he's going to use it. Moving away from Rooster. Rooster runs right into it. Rooster tried to run and come up and stop him from using that ladder. And he's getting more. This is what these matches are for, and I guess this is the point they both want to make for each other. Gets a sledgehammer, tosses that in the ring. Uh, they are going all out, and they're going for pain. This is what these matches are for. That's, oh my gosh. The cane to the back. We've seen Eddie do this before with uh, Antonio Cesaro, I believe it was. Leaving welts on the man. Um, but this match is... Uh, Pretty close to that kind of a match, but the rivalry. I mean, him and Cesaro didn't even have a rivalry. They fought, and he went all out on him. And I, I think we're going to see a whole lot worse from both these guys because the hatred um, they have for each other and they built between this whole rivalry and the United States Championship. Eddie's used the stairs. He's used the cane. Bruce was fighting back, though, but Eddie's not having it. Like I said, not too many technical moves we're going to see. Just a lot of ground and pound. Just throwing heads around, beating it in. Eddie right now. Oh my gosh, what a nice little switch up. You know, we 
we are expecting, of course, a good match, but at the same time, this is just like a barroom brawl. These two are just going at it. They asked for this match, so they're going to get it, and it's going to be merciful. Yeah, he's going for another item, looks like, underneath the ring. He's pulling out a table. Oh, he's shocked. He brings out a bicycle. Rusev grabs it. Oh, right when he tries to hit Eddie, Eddie kicks it out of him. Kicks him and he drops the table. The table's now propped right there. Oof. Barely missed it. Knocking the table, flying it over. Oof. Eddie just nailed him three times over with that clothesline. Again, I have to say this one more time. We are not in the ring yet. Rusev reverses it. Huge clothesline, my god. Eddie Ball found and made, I don't know how many circles he was spinning. Oof. Can you imagine if he just land right on that stair, uh, staircase? Good god, I miss Molly. Alright, now we're getting in the ring. The Eddie swings for Rusev. It kind of looked like, it looks like they connect a little bit. Oh man, a sledgehammer. I mean, to be honest, I think Eddie can just go for the pin. I mean, there's been enough damage so far, but I mean, again, these two got a vendetta against each other. They have a vendetta. They have issues that want to be resolved. Neither one of these men wants the other one to walk out of here. Ladder in hand. Oof. To the back of the head. I don't know how many times tonight you're going to have to go, oof, but you're going to hear it. Because these look painful. Slings Rusev over, punches him straight to the ground. I don't know what Eddie's thinking here, but he's got the sledgehammer now. Gets rid of the sledgehammer, goes for the ladder now instead. It's in a ladder match there, Eddie. I don't know what you're going to do with it. Oh, he props it up. He goes in for Rusev. Rusev slides in instead. Now Rusev's coming out to him. Eddie's grabbing the table, rounds him with the table again. I'm sorry, Rusev is on the fence right now. Rusev has been taking a brutal, brutal beating so far. Again, I, they barely haven't even been in the ring. Rusev was taking it to him in the beginning, had a nice little, a nice little uh, lead. Now we're at the point where Rusev has taken the worst. I don't think Rusev has used one weapon yet on Eddie, and Eddie has hit him with everything possible right on the ankle. Again, ah, that man's got a broken ankle. Oh my God! Three times he pinned that steel case. They're still. Steps, forgive me. Hits him again. He's hit him with a sledgehammer. He's hit him with a cane. He's hit him with a staircase, with a table, with a ladder. What else is there? Look at these two giving it He's looking. And he's no thinking. I don't know if he's trying to figure out how he wants to prop that table up. Or maybe he's just waiting for Rusev to get up. Not sure. Ooh, he swung at him. Rusev took it from him. Now Rusev's going to come it's at him with a table maybe? No. Eddie's quick enough to get it out of his hands. Goes for the stick again. Hits him with the cane. Oh my goodness. Rusev's trying to roll out of the way missing it. Eddie's swinging like a madman not even paying attention. But he comes back. With a flipping lariat. Eddie's now thinking again. Looks like what is he going to do with that table? Because I don't think he has an idea. If he had an idea he would already prop it up. Again, maybe he's waiting for him to get this already. He was waiting for him, and the Rusev got out of it. Maybe Rusev can get out of it again. Oh my god, he just threw Rusev on there. He's even going to jump off the apron. I don't know what... Oh my god, please don't. Don't. Get down. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was over 10 feet in the air. Looks like Eddie's nursing that arm in his ribs. He must have hurt himself, but the adrenaline's going. Sliding in another table. We just saw him fly over 10 feet up and drop through. Rusev has got to be done by now. Got to be done. He's just laying there. Hopeless. Just one hell of a match here at TLC. Ooh. Rusev reversed. I can't believe Rusev has anything left in him. I really don't. 
Rusev is trying to finish him, slams the back of his head on that sledgehammer. Let's see that one more time. He hits it perfectly. He should be out cold. With all the damage Eddie has done. Wow. Eddie probably has a baseball bat of a bump on the back of his head. But he still kicks out. So he pulls the snap mirror. Wearing down them shoulders. I would say keep going for that head. I'm surprised ref doesn't want to even call the match. Russo's frustrated to tell he's stressed. Trying to go for another pin again. I think he's gassed. He's afraid. He's so beat up if Eddie gets any more. Like right now, firing up. If he gets any more of this endurance, he's basically done. Right into the ladder. Oof. Again, another oof, oof. Shoulder into the back, knocking his head right back into the ladder. Oh my god. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Rusev just got tossed through another table. He is out. Oh my god, he's getting up. What's Eddie getting now? Ho ho ho. The same bat. That look, oh, never mind. But that looked like the bat that Rusev did a number on Eddie. What's Eddie doing here now? Oh god. Oh, Man, that's gotta hurt. A this power is bomb. Kind of Rusev is out. Is he is out and he is done. Well, he's win. getting up, but Eddie's watching him like he's just prey. And he runs in. <sighs> just like Rusev did to him. Bat to the front of the head. This is it. One, two, three. There you guys have it. This may be the end of their, their feud. May not be, but it looks like Rusev is not getting up. Ref's calling in paramedics right now. He just threw this last minute or so. He has been put through the ringer, through a table, powerbomb, thrown into a, a, a ladder, then smacked in the head with a bat. Come on. All that happened literally within a minute. And just a little before that, he got thro or he, he broke through a table and Eddie fell through him. I should say straight through him, but he you know, he broke the table and landed on him. And with the paramedics, I heard wiggling uh, Rusev out, throwing him on here with Eddie inside, celebrating. I don't know what to celebrate about. Maybe he's just happy he's dealt with Rusev and can move on. But right now, Rusev is not looking good. I see. I, I'm guessing. I saw a broken ankle with the steps. I seen broken ribs, and he's got to be some kind of head trauma. And there's the final blow with the bat. And there we have it. Eddie Fable put a nail in the coffin. And this feud he's had to reduce. Of, and hopefully the carnage will end. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Up next will be our next match. But that was it for right now. Thank you guys for checking this out. Stay tuned. We're going to go back to Renee with the next opponent. I'm willing to bet this is the last time we see them square off.